Ready to race, Bordeaux is on, ready for six laps of semi-final two. Green light and go. Good start from Vintels. Great launch and reaction from Hill and from O'Donovan, uh, from, Don, uh, from Ovenden, I should say, as they come through the first corner. But wide for Vintels there. That forces Steve Hill wide. That forces a tyre barrier onto the circuit there as well. And Ovenden was the big loser in that. He was wide in the second corner. That allowed Roger Thomas to come from the inside. Ovenden goes joker through the first lap then. Gets himself out of harm's way. And that's crucial, really, because he was hemorrhaging time. But it's Robert Vintels that leads the way then on lap one. Followed by Steve Hill. Followed by... By Roger Thomas and let's not forget Thomas and Ovenden have already come to blows here today they had contact in Q4 earlier on this morning and well we hope that they will not be having anything of the like here in the second semi-final they're quite evenly spaced out as it stands because Ovenden's done that joker but it's certainly something worth keeping an eye on anyway Robert Spittles then coming to start the second lap here at uh, Pembrey then followed by Steve Hill and that's Roger Thomas really close behind him now as they come through the tight and twisty first section of the lap. So Steve Hill, the elder statesman, 71 years of age he is in that Mitsubishi Evo 10. It's an older car now, as is, of course, the Citroen C4 that's out in front in this race, but it's certainly not lacking in pace in any way, shape or form. Robert Spittle's doing a great job. Let's not forget, of course, this is only his second ever time driving a four-wheel drive machine. Last year, he competed in the Super 1600 category and was absolutely imperious behind the wheel of that machine. This time, he's in the Citroen C4 in a supercar, 600 horsepower, completely different driving style needed. But the young Latvian is proving exactly why he is so highly rated within the British Rally Cross Championship. Doing a great job out there on track now. He goes for the Joker lap at the start of lap number two. Then where does he emerge? He comes out ahead of Steve Hill. Roger Thomas went Joker there as well. And he comes out behind Tristan Ovenden from what I can see from my commentary vantage point. So that's not worked out at all well, unfortunately there for Roger Thomas. The number 95 started at the back of the grid. I wondered if he might be able to get himself ahead of Ovenden. And we can see now that he has not been able to do so is the number 72, the driver from Kent, Tristan Ovenden, who is now through into third position then. So coming through the final sector are the top two and over the timing line once again to start the first lap, third lap rather I should say, and Robert Spittles now lead the way with a commanding advantage over Steve Hill. Meanwhile, Ovenden versus Thomas is getting pretty spicy out there on track as well. That's the battle for third place in this race, and those two looking pretty close to one another. Steve Hill goes joker, by the way, at the start of the third lap. A lot of dust being kicked up offline, and he emerges ahead of Tristan Ovenden then. So it's all eyes on the battle for third position between Ovenden and Roger Thomas. Are those positions going to change hands before the end of this race? We'll wait to find out and see whether Roger Thomas is going to be able to do anything. He's had a torrid time so far this week end with contact of course as I said earlier on in Q4 and mechanical dramas earlier on in the weekend there as well you can see a bit of bodywork damage on his number 95 of Ford Fiesta I think the headlight on the offside is missing there so whether that's as a result of contact he's had in this race or as a result of uh, contact and uh, something along the lines of that in the last race with uh, Ovenden of course he came to blows with but either way, he's still continuing on in the same fashion, which is good to see. So Robert Spittles then in the 1-2-6 leads the way, coming through the hairpin bend. Down the back straight we go once more. And the gap between Ovenden and Thomas isn't decreasing as much as I thought it would do. It was just about a second or so as they came over the line last time around. But Ovenden doing a good job and keeping that pace on the straight and narrow as it stands. Steve Hill in second position. Not really too much in terms of the on-track action to talk about as it goes right now but uh, Roger Thomas there sitting in fourth position he'll be happy just to finish this race really after what was a very challenging Q4 as I mentioned quite a few times over the course of this one but, uh, Steve Hill there in second position doing again a good job 4.9 seconds the gap was between himself and the race leader Robert Spittles over the line last time around but uh, it'll be interesting to see how this is all going to play out as we come into the final of round three later on here this afternoon so through the hairpin bend goes Steve Hill followed by Ovenden interesting to note the difference in driving styles between the two you can see Steve Hill much more sideways getting that car rotated a lot earlier whereas Ovenden pushing the front of the car a lot more a lot less sideways a bit more tidy going through the hairpin and a bit more sideways coming through the bottom part of the lap so on to the final lap now then the final running of the race comes Robert Smittles the 126 who again as I said was just absolutely brilliant this morning just seems to be getting his head around getting these four-wheel drive supercars off the line and was just emphatic and uh, has finished on the podium in third place throughout the first qualifying heat and then to the win in Q4 earlier
earlier on today, and I've just been set to do that here in semi-final two for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. And what about Steve Hill then, sitting in fourth place in the standings? He's been there and thereabouts all weekend, and proving, even though he is a bit of an elder statesman, why he is as I said earlier on, held in such high esteem within the British Rallycross Championship. But over the line it comes Robert Fittles, the 126, takes the win in semi-final two here for round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. He finishes on the top step of the podium ahead of Steve Hill, Tristan Avenden completing the top three, and the number 95 of Roger Thomas in his Ford Fiesta WRX completing the four runners in that race. So that brings an end to semi-final two, and we have got the final for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship Supercars coming up later on here today.